In the previous video, our vampire Johnson creates an antidote to stop the disease from spreading, and he heads to the sewers to see Harriet Jones. This is where Johnson's night begins. Let's go to the sewer. Reach the hive. Alright, I'm probably gonna take this route. I can get to the sewer now. The hard part's been over. I hope I don't have to fight anything creepy down here. Or at least tough. Alright. Just grab what I can. Always gotta collect stuff when you can. If you could, you never know what you're gonna run into. Some big gigantic monsters. I don't know. These skulls are creepy in the sewers. Like I always say, I hate going to sewers in any kind of game. Sewers are always bad. If I remember correctly, it was like sort of, kind of like this way. I believe I kept on going this way. Hmm. It's easy to get lost. This place has been ransacked. They've all been slaughtered. Pre one. No, not their style. Oh, I don't like the look of this, guys. Where has Harriet gone? She must have left a trail I could follow. Honestly, Jonathan, it's a trail we don't want to follow. I can't believe I'm doing this. Follow the blood trail. Well, I don't see no blood trail. We're good. Just creeping me out, man. Where is old Bridget? Damn. If I'd come earlier, they would still be alive. And that's what you say now, Jonathan. You know how many times we verse many bosses and we get our butt kicked? What's happening? 
Take not a step further, child, for you are unprepared. You, at last. I wondered when you would show your face again. Step away. We have nothing to discuss. Desist, child. You cannot confront the monstrosity unleashed upon this land without due preparation. I shall not allow it. All right. But no more riddles. Enough of the obscure songs and prophecies. I ask questions, and you answer them. My words have been as clear as crystal lakes, my child. You seem unwilling to drink, to listen, to learn. I'm here to stop Harriet Jones. She is the original carrier. The well from which this corruption flows. I have heard you, but be wary. Harriet Jones's mind is no more. She has metamorphosed into an apocalypse. Born from, drenched in, and driven by the blood of hate. I only wish to know how to put an end to this epidemic. To perform an act so noble, you must protect yourself from its poisonous kiss, my child. I know. McCullum used such a serum when trying to kill me. However, I have produced a more efficacious version of the antidote. Your final task awaits you at the end of these tunnels. I've known for ages you were worthy of this challenge. My champion, bittersweet. You tricked me. My sister died for your schemes. I have brought suffering and tragedy into this world. I am not, nor will I ever be your champion. Very soon you'll come to know that sacrifice is sometimes necessary. I understand the grudge a child bears towards his father and mother. Be brave, my child. These poor skulls didn't stand a chance. Something tells me I won't stand a chance. Here it goes. I'm scared, nervous. Oh my. OMG. Look at those toxic spores. Oh, I'm sick. So sick. Doctor. Help me, please. I'm in such pain. I'll be glad to be of assistance. Ah, oh, like your help, Doris. Liars, all of you. <coughs> My poor baby. I've been such a bad mother. But the Queen herself forgave me. Gave me another chance. Harriet. You must stop all of this. I can't let you infect anyone else. How dare you interfere with the Red Queen's plans, Doctor? How can you stop the course of nature? Nobody ever helped me. I've been alone all my life. Ah! Do it again. Gotta gain some stamina. Nobody ever helped me. I've been alone all my life.
Come on. Okay, she explodes. What? What is it? I think it is. Oh, how infinitely, how intensely, how irredeemably are you all going to suffer now?
That was tough. Do you think your no one could ever defeat you, mother of us all, for you are our every root and leaf. You've always been my most amusing son. Then go back to sleep, my queen, and smile at us from your dreams. Did they feel my wrath? Have they suffered enough? More than ever, mother of us all. Until the next time. Until the next time. What the heck was that? So it's over then, young Ekon. You have put an end to this terrible menace. Old Bridget? What are you doing here? This is my realm, Ekon. This is Suaskal territory. But they were all massacred by the monstrosity that Harriet became. Others will come, engendered by deceitful vampires. I don't mean you, of course. I thought you'd been slaughtered with all the other sewer skulls. I was up above. In search of help when Harriet suddenly turned into that thing. I have no idea what it was. It's over. I have avenged my poor Mary. Yes. You prevailed in the end. I hope you'll forgive me for the way I treated you when first you presented yourself at our gate. No need to apologize. Really. Perhaps there will be no stories told or songs sung of what's happened here today. But I'll know the truth. Jonathan Reed, newborn vampire, stepped forward and saved us all. I'm honored to be part of this city's legend. Thank you, old Bridget. May I ask you just one question? How could I refuse you anything now? I'll answer just as I answered Lady Ashbury when we met a few nights ago. Who are you, really? I was born with the name Bridget Eleanor Wellington. In 1738, my beloved and immortal husband decided to preserve my beauty and youth forever by making me drink his blood. You were Lord Redgrave's wife. Then the pompous fool rejected you, did he not? It was about 200 years ago. Peace found me in time. And I sincerely hope it will find you, too, now that all is over. No, it's not over. I may have ended the vampire epidemic, but I still need answers from the woman I love. I feared you would say that. Go then, young Ekon, and face your fate. Just remember that I'll always be here for you. London has been cleansed. This catastrophe came about when an ancient malignant will crossed paths with mortal imprudence. For now, we are safe. For now, my craving for blood remains. Red like, like hate, red like hunger, red as life and death, passing from one immortal to another, from predator to victim patiently biding its time to rise again. London has been cleansed for now, but there's a simmering hatred, fear, and old grudges. When will we succumb, mortals and immortals alike? The next disaster is only a matter of time. My only hope now is to catch the woman I love, to understand why she fled and unmask the secret that has been lurking in her blood for so long. Well, so Lisa's back here. What a nice car.
Well, this is it. Lady Asper's domain. Why am I not surprised it's not on any maps? I'd better Thanks. hurry. Let's go, let's go. Nard talk. Beautiful morn, my child. It looks like dawn is here at long last. Can't you just leave me alone? Your precious queen has been sent back to the bottomless pit from whence she came. The nightmare is almost over. I am here to say goodbye. The sun's warmth exhausts me. Soon I will rejoin my queen in her endless sleep. It is over. You did well. This is not over. I am here to find the true origin of the blood of hate. Tis unwise to interfere with a tale rooted so deeply in the suffering of others. No. I must know why Elizabeth fled here when I discovered she was the original healthy carrier. No. She is not what you say she is. That is a secret you will discover soon enough. And you? Why are you here? Which new thread of which old twisted plan are you seeking to pull now? Tell me the truth. I am just here to salute my sons and to bid them fare thee well. Your sons? Plural. God, will you ever stop speaking in riddles? Perhaps I am too old for your spoken language. Perhaps you now have so many subtle words, you no longer hear the simplest ones. Speak clearly, then, and answer my last question. What is it? Did I defeat the epidemic? Now you found the castle, Jonathan Reed. Only you can answer that. Farewell, my child. I shall dream about you soon. Okay. I cannot enter. The castle walls look decrepit. Maybe I can find a way to sneak in. Sneak in? Who's end up about sneaking in? Just... <laughs> hmm. This looks like a way. All right, I'm onto something. What? I thought I got stuck. Need answers. It's locked. The lady of the manor isn't expecting visitors. That tell me something I don't know, my man. All right, go up these flights of stairs. Maybe it's just my imagination, but I think I smell Elizabeth's perfume. She must be here somewhere. Lady. This castle is falling apart. Mm. That sweet fragrance, Elizabeth's perfume. She was here, and recently.
This painting looks suspicious. What painting are you talking about, my man? Suspicious. Hmm. All right, I'm missing something here. Definitely missing something here. A sword and a moon are the symbols I should look for. A sword and a moon. One last switch and I swear I just saw it here. Uh I don't think that's it. I need to be looking for a sword. Oh there it is. Voila. Okay. Yeah, I thought that was easy, huh? It was. You just had to look for the symbols. I don't, I don't have to fight anything down here because I just got done. This is a creepy place to be. What is this? Oh my. We just could pause that, alright? Pause that. Mm hmm. Pause that. You guys already know it? Getting all the details in for you guys. We're here to talk about vampire, you know? Creepy Drop cave. Uh, Seem to be afraid of. What? Uh, what the heck? Shall we abandon this then? Shall we lower our heads? No. Never. You taught me that. Blood is approaching. Old but young. Uh, how strange. Shall I drink it? Smite it? No, father. He is a friend. Please, 
rest. I'll take care of it. Gaution, Elizabeth. Deceit runs through these veins. I know, Father. What took you so long, Jonathan? Oh. Is this... really him? Yes. This is William Marshall. First Earl of Pembroke. Servant of five mortal kings. Former regent and savior of England. The greatest knight who ever lived, according to some. And... You called him father. For he gave me eternal life, and much more. I have so many questions, Elizabeth. You always had questions, Dr. Reed. Now that I stand before you both, in this vault, I know not where to begin. We still have a few minutes left. I have destroyed the disaster. This creature that Harriet Jones had become. The epidemic is no more, and London will recover. In time. I never thought I'd say this, but I think London's last hope is in Prewen's hands. To stem the epidemic, many districts must be cleansed. Mortals defend their interests as we defend ours. It is only natural. I cannot bear knowing I was the cause of all this. Through the use of my own blood. No. This catastrophe was the result of unethical experimentation. And the will of a creature so inexplicably evil, she exceeds all the terrible wonders I have seen since my death. But it was my blood all along. My corrupted blood of hate. The poisoned blood of my father. A healthy carrier. That's all I am. William Marshall infected you. He is the true original carrier. Yes. But he saved me by sacrificing himself. Saved you? How? The tears of angels. The cleansing of impure blood by an older, more powerful blood. It worked on me, did it not? Yes. Blood is the definitive key to our species. Scowls, cleansing, lineage. Do you really think it worked? It has, Jonathan. I was nothing but a beast who took pleasure in slaughter. I roamed across Europe, reaping my bloody crop. It was the blood of hate. But my father's antidote cured me. You should have told me. No, Jonathan. The William Marshall myth lies at the heart of so many hostile plans. I could not risk jeopardizing his safety. So why did you come here? You knew I would follow you. I can't let you go. Because I know now the blood of hate is still in my veins. No one but I can put an end to this tragedy. I can help you. You can trust me, Elizabeth. No, I cannot. You chose to follow Ascalon's orders. You unleashed an immortal Aloysius Dawson into this already fragile and suffering city. Would your protege agree to speak with me? I have so many questions for him. Go on, Jonathan. But be careful. Yes, Sir William. My God. You really are William Marshall. You served Richard the Lionheart and his brother, King John. It is such a privilege to meet you. I did in my day. Come closer if you want to speak. For my hearing isn't what it used to be. I think your hearing is fine, sir. What is it you want, then? The blood of hate. How does it affect you? Do you feel it now? The blood of hate? Yes. Nothing more than a sneeze, really. A sneeze held for so long. 
You could blow a fortress down if you released it. Do you remember Murden, your maker? Only God is my maker. For he created everything on this earth. He blessed me with eternal life through his archangel, Michael. But Murden, Michael, is a vampire. He made you a blood-sucking creature of the night. Blood, yes. I used to drink it from the throats of the unworthy. Then I was punished for my deceit. During my penance, I rely entirely upon my sweet Elizabeth. We could set you free, let you out. Isn't that what you want? I pray for the day I'll see the sky again. I have all but forgotten its colors. I could walk and do so many things beneath the stars. But I doubt it would be wise to release me. Then will you stay here and repent? Elizabeth told me it will not be long now. I cannot wait to feel the sweet caress of her hand on my cheek after so long as she releases me. Has the time come? Yes, Father. Why not unleash me then? To see the sky a final time. You already are the sky, and all its stars. I'm not defeated, for I welcome the sword you bear, for it is mine. You were never defeated, my lord. Farewell, Father. <laughs> and to you also, Jonathan. What do you mean? I can't stand what I've become. This healthy carrier, as you put it. The flames will purify the poison that runs in my veins. No! I won't allow this to happen. I am death. Jonathan, wherever I go, I can't stand it. Who cares? We are vampires. We are death. No, Jonathan. I won't bring another disaster into this world. I can't lose you, Elizabeth. Even if it means putting the whole world at risk. How can you say such an awful thing? Where is the Jonathan I want saved from a scowl in this abandoned factory? I'm not that frightened man anymore. I've learned so much. Done so much. I see. So there is nothing worth living for in this world anymore. Farewell, my love. Farewell. One prayer for the summoned, called by this song. Child born from darkness, whose path he must find. Now the song is sung and your path chosen. England is safe, the price paid most dear. But what do you care? You are the one who keeps killing. You've chosen your path, my fallen champion, like others before you. Pray to lust and desire, slave to the everlasting thirst. My queen sleeps once again, and I'll soon join her slumber. Until alas, she rises, woken by the hunger never fed. Yeah, we're done. Wow, I enjoyed this series. I hope you guys did. 
besides me getting beat by some bosses. That's the thing I didn't enjoy, but I hope everyone really had a good time watching these. And I appreciate all you guys stopping by the channel, supporting everything. And I, I just can't say I can't say enough that I appreciate all you guys and thank you for all the support you guys have given me and the support to the videos and to the channel as well. And I can't wait for the next game series, whichever one I do decide. I'll see you guys soon. Stay tuned, everybody.